Yo, it's your boy, Rod, SideQuest, back with another video. So, we're going for a walk. I'm on Sukhumville Road over by Soak BTS. It's looking like it's going to rain, so we're going to try and get in as much as we can. Just want to show you guys where you're going to be looking forward to when you come out here. And it's a... Uh-oh. But besides that, <laughs> it's a great day out here in Bangkok, always is. Good weather. A little bit rainy out. And, well, it was this morning, might be later this day. My woman, Ben's, she just went out to Kunming, China. So I miss already. I shall come back in five days. It's okay. Until then, you guys will be hanging out with me. We'll be doing some road flow. We'll be doing some logging. We'll be doing some chilling. Just hanging out. As you can see, even though it's a, a Monday, it's still busy on Sukhumvit Road. It's a full-on mega city out here. Your boy is from the outskirts, suburbs of Orlando, about 30, 40 minutes outside of it, but it's still considered the outskirts, outskirts and suburbs. But it ain't nothing like Bangkok, I can tell you that right now. It ain't nothing like this. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh, we're passing Cloud9, really fancy dispensary out here. Here's a fun fact I've heard about maybe 10 languages within the past 20 minutes just walking on Sukhumvit Road. So it's a super, super international place. You'll see everyone from every single continent just hanging out over here. Going about the business, but I ain't getting drunk on the streets at the bars here. Hawkers trying to get some money. Families trying to discover a good vacation while also being safe. It's a little bit of everything out here. Yeah, honestly, right around this area at night, whenever I do come here, at night, which is very, very, very rarely. I think I've been out here at night maybe five times since uh, over 13 months. You'll see people trying to sell you some bad stuff and some women trying to hit you up for a little hour of fun. Ain't nothing wrong with people trying to get some money, but just be aware of that. Right around here, at night, it's a little seedy, as uh, Bangkok Pat would say. <laughs> so it's official. In December, I won't give you guys a date, but in December, I'll be going to Taiwan for over six weeks, but I will not be going to Taipei. I'll be going to some smaller cities. We'll be going to a national park. Benz will be joining me for Christmas time, so that'll be really nice. So stay tuned, but until then, I'm in Thailand hanging out. When Benz comes back, we'll be going to Ko Chang. We've already decided. So it's going to be a real adventure. We're going to have a whole bunch of fun. Just now arriving over here at Na Na BTS entrance. Over here, check this out. You see, honestly, every day, any hour, if you want to have a good time, all you got to do is walk up and down Sukhumvit Road. You'll be entertained. And if you even want a better time, you grab a beer, put yourself <laughs> with a good group of people, and then you drink. I think we got a little homeboy giving us the peace sign right there. That was nice. I'm sorry. So after passing by Nana, Nana, BTS area, going towards Plon Chi and Chi Lom, that's when things start to pick up in terms of quality and less uh, nightlife seediness. Still, there'll be bars and restaurants, but it'll be a lot more on the higher scale. Less so in Nana and also, just being honest, just being honest. So, we got a little McDonald's coming up over here for the Plon Chi BTS area. But things a little, uh, I wouldn't say deserted, but just less, less populated, less action going on over here in between Nana and Plon Chi. There's just like a, I mean, obviously it's a mega city, but there's just such less foot traffic, less development, less things in terms of shopping. There's still people trying to hawk, but not much in terms of options for fun. So I actually just passed uh, some working women and a gentleman trying to sell me a fake Rolex. So it is what it is, but just be aware that's what's happening in the daytime in between Nana and Clone Cheat BTS. Ain't nothing wrong with that. People gotta get their bread. Uh, one of my favorite parts of any city is the featured graffiti. I will say, after my few travels to 29 different countries, it is all about South America. They have the best graffiti in the world. Over in Bogota is what I've seen. Lima too, but Bogota. So I'm thinking of the cities with a little bit of danger. Those are the ones that have the best graffiti. They have the best artists, the best uh, music. No offense, no offense to the safe cities. So right above me is gonna be Plone Chi BTS over here to the left. And that direction, come on camera, will be Klong Toy area. Down there is on Newt towards the southeast of Bangkok and Samuprakan. And yeah, man, I mean, just a general chill out area. It's really dead over here, I'm not gonna lie. 
over in Ponchi. There are some nice malls once you get to Chilong, Central Embassy, stuff like that. But other than that, it's just uh, a little bit dead. I mean, good traffic, always uh, just nice condos. The Four Seasons is right there, or Four Points by Sheraton Hotels right there. But other than that, it's just uh, right in this area, it's a little more laid back. Right, but right after Nana, in between Nana, not, not between Nana and Plochi, but after Plochi, then it's a little bit more chill. But any y'all, anyways, y'all, it's looking like it's about to rain. I want to thank y'all for joining me. I'm going to get this uploaded, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. Bye.